aftens afsnit. My name is Capitaine. I am French. I grew up in a French colony. I am a professional tourist. I have always enjoyed to travel, to collect knowledge, take photos, shoot video. I document what I think will interest people. I observe cultural differences. I share my experience with others. Denmark is one of my most exotic destinations. It was great to be in Denmark. At least a country where I could do things in a free way, without guilt, without fear, without being judged. I was in the coolest place in the world, a place between dream and reality, a place where at least I could satisfy my wildest fantasy. Here, I could even play with the model of the queen. You know where is the beach in Denmark? Uh, in this, the beach. Beach. The beach. To swim. Yes. Oh, that is far away. It's far away. Yeah. It was also exciting to be able to use the center of the city as a beach to read, relax, and sunbaths. It's a nice beach. Oh yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very warm. Yes. Thank you. I noticed that culture and art were everywhere. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. Even churches were used as cultural centers. The army itself was making art installations in the center of the city. Oh, it's a busy one. Here, I could try real weapons just to play without arming anybody, like when I was a kid. Cool. Free wounds. Free wounds. Yeah. Free wounds for the tourists. <laughs> I could even get shooting holes paint on me. Shooting holes that looks ah, real. That's blood. It's blood. Yes. It's fantastic. It's great. You can fool everybody. Okay, it's cool here. Another experience from Denmark. Another experience from Denmark, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. There's many. It's a very cool place, Denmark. Sure. Does this look real or not? It's so good. It looks good. Yes, it looks very good. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> this is dust from the explosion, or no? It's, ah, it's a burning. It's a burning. Which taboo the Danish have? Sorry. Which taboo? What is taboo in Denmark? It's taboo. 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 Yeah, some. I don't think we have anyone. You don't Just have to taboo. Be friendly to each other. Yes. I think that's the taboo, like in the rest of the world, We're trying to to help each other as good as we can. I show my show. This is burning oh. hole. It looks funny, huh? Can you leave the hole in the So then. Is this shooting or? Yes, yeah, it's shooting. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Nine millimeter, yes. Nine millimeter. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, it's all right. It's inside. Don't worry. It's only seven. <laughs> it's nine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, it's fun. It was such a great trip that I even suspected the tourism office to have organized this event just to satisfy my fantasy. Excuse me, are you Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Hansen? No. No, sorry. I made a lot of samples of my burning wounds, so I could send them as postcards. Everything was so cool. Everybody was so open-minded that I asked myself if what I was living was real. I even asked myself if I existed still. It's like the door in Denmark, it's normal to... To? To lift. The door? Yes. What? It's... Ah, sorry, I didn't see. Without having my life taken in charge by a public service like the army, I stopped existing really. As a single person, out of the group, I was invisible. I was just some air de Paris, floating around freely. 
I experimented to be the invisible man. Look, look at me. Look at, look, look, look at me. Look at me. A bit worried about my new invisible aspect, I decided then to make a test. Excuse me, can you see me? Excuse me, do you see me? Do, do, you, do you see me? Can you see me? Do you see me? Uh, do you see me? Excuse me, do you see me? Strange. The more I was doing efforts to be visible, the more people were avoiding me. How could I have become that invisible to the Oculi?